Hey everybody, Mr. Bennett here. I've got another short section of information for you. This is a brand new chapter. We are looking at energy in this chapter. So where do we get our energy resources? How do we make electricity? Things along those lines. And so the entire focus of this chapter is on energy. We are not going to be talking about resources like food or water. We can use water for energy, but we're not going to be talking about access for sustenance and how we, how we actually survive off of different resources. All we're doing, like I said, is looking at energy. And these are non-renewable uh, resources for this first section, and these do not replenish. They do not replenish in your lifetime. So we are looking at resources which do not come back before I am dead. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, we're going to talk about fossil fuels. And fossil fuels are coal, oil, and natural gas. So we've got coal, oil, and natural gas. And on this uh, map, I actually would like you to do uh, one thing. And if you're just watching on YouTube, you can also do this if you'd like. But on the website, and I've got a link in the video description, there are two images. So we're looking at U.S. coal and U.S. oil and gas. These are the regions of coal in the United States. And the United States is known for the richness of its coal, especially down through the Appalachian region right here. So all of these colors, don't worry about what the different ones mean, but these represent areas of coal um, in the country. And if we overlay, look at a natural gas uh, map here, you can see how we've got a lot of natural gas resources in the northeast, just like we have a lot of coal resources kind of in this northeast region. These tend to overlap one another. And again, look over here out in the, um, the Midwest, western United States area. We've got a lot of oil and natural gas found out, and that's kind of very similar to where we find our coal. So these fossil fuels are all related to one another. And one thing, the reason I have this map on here is so you can go in and you can use those maps I just showed, again, found on the website and start to fill in in different colors where those areas are just for your own reference. The other natural resource we're going to take a look at um, is nuclear energy. And a little bit of history first. The United States started building reactors in 1957. So this was after World War II, after the atomic bomb. And we decided that we can start to harness some of this nuclear energy to create power. But we haven't built any since 1977. Currently, there are about 106 reactors in the United States, and these produce 25% of the nuclear power globally. So there's a lot of energy here, a lot of activity here, but our, our nuclear plants are starting to wear down. They're starting to wear out. We have to figure out what to do about that. So the main source of fuel in a nuclear reactor is called uranium-235. Uranium and it's mined. It comes out of the ground. We have to dig it up, and that's why we consider it non-renewable. It's a mineral. It's a rock. We cannot replace that rock once we've taken it out and used it. That's why it is a non-renewable resource. And nuclear energy, this is kind of a last thing. We're going to have a section specifically on nuclear reactions, but it's produced when atoms are split apart, and this is called fission. So there's two kinds of nuclear reactions. There's fission and there's fusion. Fusion is what happens inside of stars. Um, it's when two atoms come and they, they form one atom. Uh, fission, on the other hand, is what we do in our nuclear reactors. We can take uranium atoms and we split them and we harness the energy that comes out from that. So this is a really brief primer, um, just an overview on non-renewable energy. We're going to look at fossil fuels a little bit more specifically. Nuclear energy is going to come up again uh, very, very soon. Uh, if you have questions, you can always find me in class or leave a comment on the YouTube channel, and we'll talk to you later.